Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Marketing Podcast, your source for all things marketing. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Marlon Blakeney on the line, and he's CEO over at Q Contrive Marketing. Marlon, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks, Adam. I really appreciate you taking the time to bring me on. Absolutely, and I'm excited to get into today's uh, show topic, which is, you know, what businesses should be thinking about when it comes to their digital marketing right now. Um, but before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit more about what you're doing over at Q Contrive Marketing um, first. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Um, and our company has been around now a good, good almost two years. Uh, we do uh, most of the things we do are digital marketing. So uh, I have a team of uh, about 15 professionals uh, with uh, backgrounds in SEO, backgrounds in uh, uh, web design, backgrounds in uh, social media expertise. That have creative writers. Uh, we all team up uh, to help you know businesses find their vision and um, the brand and also uh, construct a new, new uh, idea for them to create more ROI or even or be more relative. Uh, as you know, with what you're doing, uh, which I really appreciate, um, the, the key of this to this really isn't really uh, what we think it is. It's more about giving back to people. So when you're doing what you're doing and, and bringing me on and, and all the other people that you've had and helped throughout your career, uh, that that generates, you know, a generosity and uh, a care for what people do and how successful they are. And that's not really uh, something that's common in the world today. So you doing what you're doing is kind of why I'm doing this. I was in medical sales for over 15, 20 years selling surgical products. And with that, I found that, you know, I love the I didn't I like making good money. Obviously everyone wants to make a lot of money and make good money. But I think the passion that I had and love for it was more that every day I came from procedure with a pacemaker implant, a patient that couldn't walk the next day or a patient mm. that couldn't, uh, you know, breathe, uh, you know, all the time consistently. Um, they left with that idea. Now they can walk and come back and walk and do things they couldn't do. So their quality of life is actually a lot better. And this is similar to that. It's to transition differently. Obviously, I'm not in the, in the med field anymore, but this transition is the same because there's so many, cops, uh, you know, businesses, so many uh, professional athletes we're dealing with, those guys, uh, so many different restaurants that have a set way of the way they've been doing life or been successful, which is great, but they don't understand the vision of the future and what it's going to take to continue to be great over the next five to ten years. So uh, that's my passion right now, to help them get to, over that hump and uh, see things they didn't see before to make it better for them. Man, that's great. And I think that's also a great transition. Um, let's get into what business owners should – a lot going on right now. Let's get into what business owners should be thinking about um, concerning their digital marketing. Where do you want to start with that one right now? So the key is right now, I mean, most of the business owners, if you you know, as a matter of fact, uh, most entrepreneurs and business owners, uh, not uh, today entrepreneurs are a lot younger, but traditional entrepreneurs and business owners are probably in their, you know, 50s, the 60s, and 70s, uh, and they've lived quite a, quite a bit of life. And, and one thing I will always say, I'll never judge anyone because you can't walk in people's shoes, but they've been accustomed to doing things by even physicians that are in the 40s and 50s and that we went through school back then, they do things a certain way. It's not wrong. It's just the way they were taught, and they're comfortable with that way of doing things. But throughout this transition of, of technology, which is a, a new customer, a new client, uh, everything's changed and evolved to a, a different aspect, a way to uh, approach these uh, clients and also to uh, build business. So and it's, I, I, in some ways, I say it's a lot easier. In other ways, if you don't understand the digital marketing world, it's kind of like the Jedi. Like, I mean, it's, it's, do you believe in it or not? I mean, it's, there's ways that there's trickeries and things that you can do to help promote your business. But I don't think a lot of people in uh, in, in the later ages, uh, their own businesses are uh, accustomed to it or comfortable with it. So how do you uh, transfer or, or inform them and, and, and motivate them to change ways that have been successful when they've made millions of hundreds of millions of dollars over the last, you know, 20, 30 years and been very successful and their families and all that are, are you know, have, uh, you know, inheritances and all that that they can, they can pass on uh, and, you know, really built that. So, um, that's kind of the, the challenge, but it, it is something that, you know, I have to work hard at and be doing, but they have to be more involved and be open to that transition, open to the new ways of technology. And with that, I mean, it helps them out long term. So that's what I believe. 
What's a what's a tip that you would give, like an actionable tip for somebody out there that's maybe a little stuck in their in their digital marketing right now, and they're they're kind of in that situation you said, like they're it's basically they're caught in the routine, right? And they and they kind mm-hmm. of did get broken out of that, and they want to break through to that next level, but they got to get out of the routine. What would be like an actionable tip that they could do today? Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, that's something that I feel like I I do, I try to do quite a bit, and obviously not being comfortable. So you got to work your butt off and try to make yourself uncomfortable, challenging yourself daily to do things that you normally wouldn't do. Uh, I think when you do get set in your way, you're setting yourself up to failure. Uh, I was an ex-athlete. I played uh, football for Kansas University. So I'll be honest with you, I like pain. I like struggle. I like challenges. I like to to overcome because I like to overcome. That's my thing. I like the challenges and I like the slumps because I like to come out of them and it makes me feel so good and like mm-hmm. I'm doing something, right? So I believe these are the things that uh, successful businessmen like yourself have had to do. Uh, and with that, for me and my personal uh, uh, business right now, well, I start out like I'm a great sales rep. I have a great network of people I know and clients and all that good stuff. So I went out to sell, sell, sell. But then, you know what I found with the people that I don't know? They don't know me, and they don't know anything about me. And I look back at what I had on my track, and I, you know, you had to re, re, reevaluate where you are and why you're mm. having such challenges. I found I had no, 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 nothing on, on me online. Like, I'm, I'm selling you SEO. I'm selling you websites, and I'm selling you all this stuff, right? But there's no that really speaking for me on my side. So why would you work with me if I'm not doing the same thing? So I had to read out and do all that. So. Like you're doing, I set up a podcast, which I, I started doing it about a, a month ago, uh, called Q World. And also, I, I'm bu- building a personal website currently. And um, I'm doing a lot of stuff on social media now with, you know, talking about my purpose, who I am. And that's things I think that will help elevate my game and elevate who I am. But as you know, it's constant work. It's constant work. And it's never even. No, I love it. Um, any trends in, in digital media and marketing that you're noticing just in general? Yeah, um, there's a couple. Um, as you know, of all the social media ads and what's going on uh, today, I would say uh, to me, I, I, I try to go into the outside and do things that I don't like or I have, don't have a lot of knowledge on. And that's more or less the social media platforms like TikTok, uh, social media platforms like uh, Snapchat, things like that. So I'm finding creative ways to do things with those apps. And, and obviously I'm reaching, a, you know, a different uh, – uh, a population, which is great. Um, but I think right now what we got to understand is, like, we're not selling to – obviously, we have businesses that we're selling to our clients, our personnel, the people that want to buy our product. But we also got to build that brand that consistently grows over the next five to ten years. So if, you have, if you're talking to college uh, students or you're talking to young adults or even mid- people in their mid-20s, late 20s that are looking for opportunities or different ideas, these are avenues where we're feeding and giving them things that they can use to actually either get to know your, your, what your business is or know about the uh, different divisions of businesses that you're working with to educate them to get going. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Man, that's awesome. So, Marlon, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on Q Contrived Marketing or to connect with you, what's the best way for them to do it? Um, right now, what I would say, uh, just uh, I, I, Q World is great. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, IG, it's uh, Q underscore, underscore World Podcast, so Q underscore World Part Podcast. Uh, the website for my company is uh, www.qcontrived, and that's C-O-N. T R I V is a Victor E dot com. And uh it, you can reach me directly uh from those two assets if you need to. Man, that's awesome. Well hey, and, and also um how do people hit listen to your podcast? Um it's on so it's on uh I think it's on SoundCloud right now. Um we're looking at we're waiting on, as you know, uh iTunes to come through so we can get that. They have to prove it. It's a two or three week process and then we're gonna be on Spotify as well. But right now it's just SoundCloud and then it's YouTube channel. So our YouTube YouTube channel is Q Q Space World. So it's there as well. So you can watch the live video because all of our uh all of our uh, podcasts are videoed first. So we video them and then put the sound on the uh, SoundCloud for sure. 
Awesome, man. That's great. Um, well, hey, Marlon, awesome connecting with you today, and glad to hear all the great work you're doing for your clients over at Q Contrive Marketing. So much success to you there. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. Uh, leave me a review on the, uh, on the uh, Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Marketing, definitely give us a subscribe there and let us know what you thought. I'd love to hear some comments in the comment section and, uh, and keep the conversation going in the YouTube. YouTube community. And Marlon, thanks again for coming on the show.